That is a flying snake gliding through the air. Now, try not to think of that as a complete nightmare. Whoa, we've got flying snakes to worry about? I can barely handle normal snakes. Uh-uh, count me out of this one. I'm gonna go live underwater somewhere if that means getting away from all these snakes. Sea snakes are among the most venomous animals on Earth. What? We've got sea snakes too? Okay, now I'm happy. Really? Space snakes? Come on! I have found the craziest creatures that exist on this planet that you will not believe are actually real. I may have been up late on my phone one night and couldn't fall asleep after I found these, but I just had to tell someone. A lot of these look like they're straight up out of a Star Wars movie, and I'm actually excited. Well, kind of terrified to be honest. But share this with a friend. Let's see how many people we can get to not be able to fall asleep after they watch this video. I want to see in the comments which creature you think would be the most terrifying to be eaten by. So, the first creature that I never want to see in my life are flying snakes. Look at this. Apparently, there are these snakes that will literally jump out of a tree branch and flatten their ribs out to make their body super wide and swim through the air to come and eat your babies. I can't believe these are a real thing. This is something that you would think to see in some kind of like mystery novel or some kind of sci-fi movie, but no, this is real life and we have flying snakes. This is just not cool. Why do we need flying snakes? What purpose do they serve? Yeah, I guess it'd be cool if they're like soldiers one day and we can just just release a hundred of them out of a plane and they just kind of pss, all over the enemy. That would be neat. But I just don't think they're for me. They literally look like they're swimming through the air coming to get you. I mean, they're pretty strong. It looks like, yeah, look, see, they can hold themselves up really far out and they actually jump off of the branch to come get you. I mean, just for safe measures, let's just look up where flying snakes live just so we don't accidentally go there one day. Dead to, uh, oops, uh, okay. Yep, that'll do. Southeast Asia. Okay, we're not going there anytime soon. Not until they come out with some snake-proof suits or something. And I looked it up, and apparently there's snakes that swim in the ocean too. Like, not just snakes that go across the water like the jungle snakes, but snakes that swim under coral reefs and can hold their breath for like two, three hours and take naps on the bottom and eat fish, like sea snakes. Like, where did all these snakes come from? This is just, this is just not the best thing to be learning about at night before I go to sleep. But we're just gonna move on to the next one because this is even creepier, if not worse than flying snakes, the goblin shark. This might be the most terrifying shark I've ever seen. This is not like your ordinary shark. This shark's jaw is not connected to its skull. Its jaw actually extends out from its body to eat its prey. Do you remember the movie Alien where all the aliens had the second mouths that would come out and eat people? Yeah, that's what this shark is, but real life on Earth, like this is an alien fish. It just looks, oh no, I don't want that. Can you imagine swimming with that, going to SeaWorld and, oh, what you got today? Goblin sharks. It lives super down deep in the ocean and it just kind of looks a little floppy and it's got semi-translucent skin. So it's like, it just looks like a naked man baby. Look at this, one was caught right off the coast of Florida. I live in Florida. Hashtag get Michael J out of Florida. Like, come on, I don't wanna be eaten by one of these things. I'm gonna have nightmares thinking they're swimming in my room before I go to bed. Apparently this big snout it has detects electricity from fish and crabs. And that's what it uses to know when food is close enough that I can just, I mean, these things are pretty crazy. If you had to be scared of a shark, it'd be this one. Okay, we need to transition into something a little more lighthearted. I'm getting the creepy crawlies over here. The next creature I found that is absolutely adorable is the mouse deer. Yes, you heard that right. It's a mouse deer. It's a deer the size of a mouse. Now, it's not a true deer, but it is in a suborder of deer. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These look like things that could live on like Luke's Island with porgs or something. These look right out of a Star Wars universe. They're so cute. And look at their big tongues. They got these massive tongues they used to smack themselves on the head with. They've also got little tiny fangs that they'll run around and stab each other with and they'll bite each other on the neck. And I don't know if it's a fight to see who's the more dominant male or what, but apparently they've been known to do this a lot but one of the coolest things about oh my gosh they're so cute one of the coolest things about them is when they sense a predator they dive underwater and crouch close to the very bottom and then just kind of like shimmy along until they go away from where the predator saw them enter and then they'll come up very quietly for like a little breath of air and then go back under and keep doing that till they wait the predator out and he goes away Another weird, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I need one. Another weird fact is they're super reproductive. Like they're almost always pregnant. And as soon as they give birth, they're ready to mate again after like a few hours, which is like props to you. That's like, oh, it's eating a flower. It's so cute. 
And they also beat their hooves on the ground really fast when they're angry, which is kind of cute. I want to see that. Um, but they use it to ward off predators and warn their friends. And these are just like all around might be my new favorite animal. I really like these. But it's time for some creepy stuff. So on to the next creature, the sarcastic fringe head. These fish, I just don't like. Apparently, when they're having a territory dispute, like someone comes in their feeding grounds, they'll just flap out their mouths and start going at each other until they figure out who has the bigger mouth. Literally, a territory dispute turns into a size measuring competition. Can you imagine if humans did that? It literally looks like they're trying to fit each other in their mouth. I don't like these fish. This reminds me of like your next door neighbor when you park on their side of the street a little bit. I have that, by the way. Get me out of Florida, please. I have crazy neighbors. But once one of them wins and fends off the other, he'll literally just go try out his shell to see if it's any better than his. They look like uh, that game where people put that thing in their mouth that makes their mouth all wide and like uh, uh, uh. It looks like two of those people are trying to kiss. I mean, whatever gets the job done. Oh, it also reminds me of uh, 22 Jump Street, that scene in the end where Schmidt is fighting with that girl and she's like, are you trying to kiss me or punch me? You're giving me kiss me eyes. I yeah. don't even like you. Here do I, so stop kissing me. Okay. No, you're leaning in again. I didn't know if we were gonna punch or kiss. It looks like they're just trying to kiss each other as well as fight and they just don't know and they're confused. I don't know. These fish are weird, but they're also so creepy. I can't believe these actually exist. But the next creature could eat this fish hands down in a split second and I don't like them. <laughs> Moving on to the next creature, Bobbit Worms. If anything gives you the creepy crawlies, it's this guy. This is the sarlacc pit of the ocean. This might be one of the creepiest things I've ever seen live in our ocean. These are worms that stay underground and can grow up to like 10 feet long, ridiculous lengths, but they stay hidden until food comes by and then they shoot out and snap them with their pincher jaws and they inject toxins into the fish so they can take on fish that are like five times their size, but they also have enough force to snap their spinal cord in two. That's ridiculous. These are the things that come out of your walls at night when you can't go to sleep. They remind me of that uh, space slug in Star Wars when it like came out of that asteroid to get the Millennium Falcon. That's what it reminds me of. But look how pretty they look. They're like super rainbow and glittery. Like I would, I would touch it. <laughs> no, I'm not touching it. Moving on to the next creature, which is a little bit comical. I think it's pretty crazy this is real. The red-lipped batfish. Now, I don't know why it's called a batfish, but they're definitely red-lipped. I mean, these things look like they should be wearing a top hat and dancing with the little cane. They've got these fins that look like feet that help them walk along the bottom of the, the ocean. And they look like a, a frog who can't swim, like Jar Jar. They look like Jar Jar swimming. They got this big old nose horn that holds this fishing lure that they use to catch food, I think. But look at this. <laughs> this is a real fish. This is a fish frog. I can't believe this thing is real. This might be one of the funniest. If I had an aquarium, I would just have a hundred of these things in it. These are some of the most unique fish I've ever seen. They just kind of like waddle along the floor. I, I can't believe these are real fish. I mean, who knows? This The ocean's so big. It's crazy to think that we don't even know half of what's in our ocean. Like the majority of our ocean has been undiscovered because it's so deep. That's pretty crazy to think about. Like the farther down you go, the weirder they get. That really interests me, honestly. I can't wait to see what we're gonna discover next. But to finish it off, I found the cutest thing on planet Earth. The quokka. These things are the cute- oh my gosh, just look at them. They're so cute. Oh, I just want to give them a hug. They look like they're always happy. It's such a happy quokka. Quokka, that's a weird word, but hey, I'm okay with it. Like anything this cute, I'll say whatever for. Oh my goodness, I need one. I want one so bad. Can you, can you have one of these as a pet? I don't think so, but let's find out where they're at because I need to plan a trip there. Rot Nest Island. And let's see how much flights are. Oh, a few thousand? Okay, put that down in notes because I'm going to Rot Nest Island. That is adorable. These things, all you need to know about them, they're the cutest things on the planet. They're the cutest, happiest. That That's what I want to be when I grow up, is a quokka. Look at them, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. But thank you guys for watching. Share this with a friend and let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. Go support me on Patreon Blades if you shave your body. <laughs> and I've been working really hard lately, but I've run into some bumps along the way and thought you guys might get a kick out of them. So here's some bloopers from this last week. <laughs> Dude, rigging is hard to do. Why can't I see my guy's head? Help me. Look, I don't have a head. Whoa. Yeah, like I said, there's been a few bumps, but hopefully you got a laugh out of them. I'm going to head down to the comments so and hang out with you guys for a bit. Come say hi. But for the meantime, I will see you in the next video. Peace.
eyebrows work, see? That's about it.